おはようございます。私の名前はケリーです。Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel.、Uh, sorry for the、uh, fanciness here. I'm actually about to go to a bar, and I feel like the more makeup I have on, the better chance that I won't get kicked out of a bar for looking underaged. That's right, I've been kicked out of a bar before. But we're not talking about my problems as an adult trapped in a child's body. Today we're talking about Sailor Moon. So basically, being an adult trapped inside a child's mind. <laughs> Sailor Moon was literally the first anime I ever watched, okay? I was 10 years old. My friend Jenny in sixth grade suggested that I watch Sailor Moon, and I was like, all right, Jenny. And then I watched it, and it was so much fun. And you know, I wanted to go back to school and tell Jenny all about it. And then Jenny pretended that I didn't exist. So, Jenny, if you're watching this, fuck you. Okay, that was a, that was a lot of emotions in one little sentence. <laughs> I love Sailor Moon, okay? I'm making that very clear.、Uh, so, I first watched the English dub、um, when I was little, and then a year later,、uh, I watched the Japanese version. And the two are so different.、Um, let me make that clear. So, the English version is different because、um, it, you know, it. It had、uh, things that people used to think was inappropriate for children.、Uh, like how these two were cousins. They're clearly not cousins, okay? Even I knew that as a kid. And guess what? I had no problem with it. So then you look at the Japanese version and everything is fucking insane. Okay, you have so much insane shit going on. And you're like, whoa, this shit is like. 10 times better than the English version. What the heck? That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if that's like a thing that people think. I think it's better, okay? And then, like, a couple more years later, I found out that it was all based on the manga. So I was reading the manga, and the manga is fucking 10 times different than everything that I ever watched. And I was like, what the fuck? This is like a total different entity, okay? And then Sailor Moon Crystal came out, which was slightly based on the manga, and I was like, holy shit, that's different, okay? And, you know, cool. Like, you just got four different Sailor Moons going on. What I'm gonna be talking about mostly is I'm gonna be talking about the Japanese version because it's crazy. <laughs> it's re watching、uh, Sailor Moon as a 21 year old adult, I realized that I missed a couple things, okay, when I was a kid. I missed a couple important things while I was watching. Like how every single enemy is just a girl with tits, right? That's, that's obvious. You need to have that.、Uh, and also, each, each plot for every episode is like really fucking insane. And I think it's just because of all the filler episodes that they had to do. But like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking mainly about episode 26 because this shit, oh my god. I was watching this and I was like, I, I literally I have to make a video about just this episode because I was dying laughing. <laughs> spoiler alert, okay, I'm gonna be saying a lot of spoilers if you wanna go ahead and watch Sailor Moon. I highly, strongly recommend it, okay? <laughs> It's really funny. So the episode starts out with.、Um, I don't, I don't know her、uh, Japanese name, so I'm just gonna call her Molly. You guys can correct me on that. I think it starts with a U, whatever. So the episode starts off with Molly. She is super fucking sad, okay, because her boyfriend died that she was only dating for like two seconds. He turned into glitter, and I really want to die as glitter, okay? That, I think that would be pretty cool. And Usagi's job as a friend is to cheer Molly up.、Uh, then all of a sudden, Molly disappears. And, you know, what, what do you guys do when、uh, you are suffering from loss? That's right, you go in a random graveyard where he wasn't even buried, okay? I don't even think he was buried. I think because he was dust, they were like, oh, whatever, it's a lost cause. <laughs> So she goes to a random graveyard and she talks to a random priest, okay? And the whole episode gets very strangely religious. Then Zoocyte comes in 
And Zoocyte's like, you know, I'm gonna be super disrespectful and fuck up this random graveyard and I'm gonna take this priest and I'm gonna turn him into, guess what she turns him into? A fucking boxer. I'm not kidding. Look, he's a boxer. Okay, and he's punching the shit out of people and him and Sailor Moon have like this fucking like boxing match and Tuxedo Mask is useless as always and then he, Tuxedo Mask drops his fucking lock and then runs away you know, just him and you know, Tuxedo Mask being useless, right? There he is, there he goes, he's useless Then, you know, Sailor Moon defeats him He turns back into a priest and I shit you not, this is what he says. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> How do I not remember, like, watching this as a kid? This is so fucking hilarious. Yeah, and then, you know, Sailor Moon talks about how, oh, I have this locket now for Tuxedo Mask, and it's very pretty. And everyone's like, where'd you get it? And then she goes, uh, somewhere. <laughs> okay, that's just one of the episodes out of all 200 of them, okay? There's a lot of fucking Sailor Moon episodes. I'm not kidding. There's this scene that Nobody fucking talks about, but I think it's very important to talk about this, is it's episode, I think it's like episode 104, um, Chibusa wants to make friends, right? Chibusa is like an eight-year-old girl, okay? Let's get that clear. She wants to make friends. She meets this random guy, and she goes, oh my god, he's so beautiful, so I really want to be friends with him. And so she tries to introduce herself, but the guy turns out to be fucking crazy, and then all of a sudden, this scene happens. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god? Like, is no one... And I looked online, I was like, hello, hello, please, is anyone talking about these crazy fucking scenes? And no one is talking about it, so I am going to talk about it. Also, something that no one talks about is how much of a shitty fucking boyfriend Tuxedo Mask is, okay? And how much of a shitty ally he is to Sailor Moon. He doesn't do anything. He comes in, he says a fucking riddle that nobody can fucking solve. And, you know, everyone gets fucking confused instead of just telling them, like, hey, let's do this. He has to come up with a little riddle before he comes and throws his stupid rose. <laughs> cool. Everybody's saved. Everyone's day is saved. Woohoo. Sailor Moon. The power of love and justice. Great. And then Tuxedo Mash just fucking leaves. He always just fucking leaves. Shame on you, mistrust. Your lies and deceits have finally caught up with you. Calling an innocent girl a cheater and turning friends against each other? Your evil games are coming to an end. Right now. So come on, hit me with the very best shot you've got. Fine, meet my teammates. When I was little, I would fucking want to smash tuxedo mask, okay? Now I'm watching it as a 21 year old adult and I'm like, holy shit, this is kind of like low-key, like a mentally abusive relationship. Tuxedo mask has one fucking dream about Sailor Moon dying or something at their wedding and he's so upset by it that he breaks up with fucking Sailor Moon, okay? If my boyfriend had a dream about breaking up with me and he actually broke up with me, Ooh, boy, I would be so mad. <laughs> and not only that, like, if you're gonna break up with, you know, Usagi, fine, okay? That's your, you do your thing. But if you're gonna break up with Sailor Moon and then be a fucking asshole to her, what the fuck? <laughs> and Sailor Moon is crying, okay? Like, she's mentally dependent on Tuxedo Mask. And you can see that throughout the entire fucking anime and whatever that she is so dependent on Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> right, in the beginning of Sailor Moon Stars, Tuxedo Mask dies on the first episode. 
and then Sailor Moon is fucking so sad. And then she meets Seiya, okay? And she's like, oh shit, I don't want to cheat on Tuxedo Mask, but he's kind of a fucking dick, so maybe I should cheat on him. I just felt like I really wanted to talk about this. This anime is very important to me. I don't know if you guys can see back there. Let's, let's see. Oh, hello. That's right, I not only have a duck, I also have a Sailor Moon back there. Can't you see? Oh, and a little kitty. It's cute. It's definitely very crazy rewatching it as an adult. <laughs> so, um, if you guys agree with me, uh, cool. If you guys don't agree with me, cool. I agree with myself, and that's all that matters. <laughs> that was like the fucking shittiest thing I could say. Okay, now I'm gonna go do adult things, like go to a bar and possibly get kicked out of a bar. So, I'll see you guys later. Okay, goodbye everyone.